film's about um, the migration of people from North Africa to the southern coast of Italy. Um, what's being called a crisis right now. Um, and it's also about the destruction of the boats that they arrive on from North Africa in a, in a small port in the, in the south of Italy. And the film's narrated by a, a singer, songwriter, storyteller. And she's singing in Sicilian. And she's singing about migration and loss of land and a loss of connection to place. But she's not singing about the current crisis in the Mediterranean. She's talking about something that happened a hundred years ago when Sicilian men, ex um, there was this exodus of Sicilian men to America. So we thought it was interesting to combine these two periods of exodus, very different reasons, but the same sentiment of loss of place. And I think the fact is that it's, uh, it's not a current crisis. I mean, people have been moving for safety for hundreds of years. I mean, on the way back on the boat from the coast of Libya to Africa, where we went to film, I thought about our grandparents, both of whom left, left, uh, they fled Eastern Europe for Africa for safety just before the Second World War. So people have been doing this for centuries. So it's not a, it's not, it's not a contemporary crisis. It's an age-old crisis. And the film's called The Bureaucracy of Angels, and it's an intentionally ambiguous and rather convoluted title. And lots of people ask us, well, what does it mean? And for us, the, the digger that you see singing in the film is narrating the story. She she's re represents, in a way, the bureaucracy, the state, and how it tries to deal with this problem. And there's lots of ways of dealing with a problem, such as migration. There's the bureaucratic side of it. There's an emotional side to it. There's um, appealing to, trying to make a piece of work that appeals on an empathetic level to viewers. And then there's this pragmatic problem of, well, how do you actually deal with this problem? And whose problem is it? Um, so. The film tries to kind of engage with these quite difficult subjects in, in, in a way, in a comical way. She's almost, she's funny and she's, um, she's nostalgic and she's also, it's almost like the sea, the ocean becomes a playground for her. She's dancing over the water and she encounters um, a group of refugees as they're being rescued on the, on the, on the coast of Libya. And she's observing it almost like a witness, but she's not really getting involved. And I, and I think we wanted to somehow present this quite complicated story to, to commuters on the London underground. And I think the, um, the fact that the Mediterranean is, is both a playground and a kind of disaster site simultaneously is really important. People are sailing in sailing boats and people are in dinghies sinking. And I think that kind of, um, the fact that this one place and these two parallel lives are going on is, is, is witnessed in the film. This is a really difficult place to show any piece of art. People are arriving, people are leaving, they're coming and going. And everyone's in a rush, everyone wants to get somewhere else. Um, nobody's really looking at, this, at the, the fabric of, the, of these rooms that we're walk, walking through. And more than that, the whole underground system is designed to sort of move people around places in a fluid and seamless uh, way, with, you know, almost without thinking. We're kind of asked to be quite unconscious as we move through this environment. And, um, and our film is intended to be almost like an obstacle. Um, our aim and our hope is that people will stop and look at it. But even the sound, I mean, I'm just sit we're sitting in King's Cross and just to listen to the sound of you know, a, a, a Sicilian singer from the 1940s really affects the feeling of the place, you know what I mean? King's Cross is normally a nightmare for me and to have this kind of, uh, kind of beautiful, lamenting soundtrack really affects, affects probably everybody walking through there, you know, somehow. So I think the engagement of a public that's not coming to a place specifically to see an artwork but is it confronted by one is a really interesting um, is a really interesting problem to solve and, a, and challenge. But well, what's really significant about this place is that we're just a few min minutes walk from the um, the Eurostar train that'll take you straight through to mainland Europe. So we're really sit standing here on the um, on a border between Europe and England, and so this film just made total sense to put it here. It just felt like this was the place for it because. 
We're, we're dealing with the border right here on this, in this station.